Before we get any further into this video, let's get a couple of things out of the way. First, if you want to listen to this song or watch this video in whole without my commentary, then go do that. This is not the place for that. This is a reaction and analysis video. We're here for a conversation, not for a watch party. I'm going to be stopping this video, talking over certain parts and replaying certain parts. So get used to it. Second, my analysis is my opinion. My opinion comes from a place of knowledge. I have over 30 years of musical training and experience, 20 years as a professional musician and producer, and almost 10 years as a video producer and director. I know what I'm talking about. All that being said, we will be discussing the performance of the song by the musicians, production of the song by the producer, and production of the video, should that apply, by the director and anyone else involved. Now, I return you to your regularly scheduled reaction video. Thanks, nerds. The Abysmal Eye, our next reaction. The thing that we are doing. Sorry, I'm, I'm doing two things at once. There we go. All right, let's do that. So the next song we're doing is Orville Peck. Uh, this just got released yesterday. The name of the song is Come On Baby Cry. Um, so let's do the thing. And expectations, Orville Peck. So the the guy who introduced me to Orville Peck described his sound as or the guitar tone that he uses as twin peaksy. <laughs> it's it's a very twin peaks kind of sound. So I haven't watched a whole lot of Twin Peaks, but the second I heard it, I was like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> um uh my girlfriend said he reminded her of what was the Mavericks and she showed me some of the Mavericks and yes, very much that. Um, generally speaking though, he's a little more subdued than what she showed me of their sound, though very similar in, in tonal quality. Um, this record from what I am to understand, because again, it's hard for me to avoid certain things, especially when I work with people who are very into a lot of this music as well. From what I am hearing, this new Orville Peck record is a little more rock based, still very much country because that's what Orville Peck does. And uh, just a little bit more upbeat is kind of how I interpreted that. Um... So that's going to be the expectation here is a little upbeat, but the name of the song is come on baby cry. <laughs> so I don't know if upbeat is necessarily a fair expectation for something that sounds like it's going for a depressive kind of tone. Um, as far as the video, cause this is a proper video this time, as far as expectations for what we're going to see in the video, very flamboyant <laughs> that's the, i don't know how else to put it um i think i've only seen one orville peck video where that was not the accurate uh, the most accurate description um and and then it was very artsy but very depressive uh i guess is probably a fair way to describe the the i can't remember the name of the song the one with the the um chicken ranch girls not bronco the the boys one like midnight or something like that i can't remember anyway so i'm expecting it to be a little bit more upbeat uh i'm also expecting that expectation to be not fully met because of the name of the song um and the video is going to be bright and shiny what is it Dead of Night. There we go. That was that was the one. Dead of Night is kind of a depressing video, but I mean the the quality of the song and also his cover of Fancy. That video is a little depressing too. Anyway, so this one, those are the expectations. That's my history with the artist. Let's do the thing. 
So already flashy and flamboyant. <laughs> the opening cut. <laughs> So here's something very, very interesting about the production on the recording of this audio. The video so far, pretty standard, uh, shiny country music video, sure. But um, as far as the, oh, am I still muted? Did I, am I dumb? Did I, did I do a dumb? Uh, desktop audio is still muted. I apologize. We're going to start that over. So let's get back into this. So those are the expectations. Let's get into this video. First thing, it is flashy. Wow. But yeah, so listening to this so far, we are... 13 seconds in and I can I can there's I can already tell we're, we're a little bit more upbeat than Orville normally does uh, regular old flashy country music video kind of 80s throwback look which is something he is want to do um, but listening to the audio production on this if you listen to the acoustic guitar it almost sounds like so in in modern production an acoustic guitar, generally speaking, you would have a quarter inch line to it, just like a regular instrument. You would you would have it plugged into an amp, and so there would be no need for an external microphone to get that tone. But it sounds like this is not that. It sounds like they, at the very least, have an external microphone pointed at the uh, opening of the guitar because you can hear the pick strum across those strings um which the atmosphere seems to be a theme with these reaction videos kind of adds to the intimate atmosphere that i think is very indicative of orville's sound just overall so dig in that a lot <laughs> oh wow okay so listening to the backbeat underneath that there's some definite rhinestone cowboy vibes going on here that's probably intentional <laughs> but listen to his voice all right let's go back just a second listen to like just the purity of the tone of orville's voice right th oh come on here right here I can see what they were saying when uh, they said it was much more rock and roll oriented. Still very Orville, very country, very, yeah. So the, the, the other interesting thing about that acoustic guitar is I'm pretty sure at this point that it was very likely in the the recording studio booth that they had set up to record that acoustic guitar. There was no quarter inch input at all for that instrument because 
uh, the way it's mixed, you get you get the pick sound kind of over everything, almost like uh, back. So back when Johnny Cash was recording, um, and in that kind of era of early days of Johnny Cash. Uh, they didn't have a drummer, so Johnny's guitar was the rhythm section. He and the bass player had to be interlocked. And oftentimes, Johnny wouldn't even play chords. He would have something across the strings to mute them across the neck, and he would use the pluck sound as almost like a snare kind of tone to keep everyone in time. So that way he didn't have to worry about what his left hand was doing so he could focus on singing and it would let the lead guitar player shine because doing lead guitar things. So that is kind of what I feel like they're doing with this acoustic guitar, at least through the chorus, is it's giving, it's, it's, it has a, a, a unif unifying kind of quality to it. And I really dig that. Just like me. I also think that's Margaret Cho, stand-up comedian. I could be wrong, because I only saw her for half a second. He's so skinny. Wow. Wow. Listen to that voice this man has. That almost sounds fake. Not going to lie. That is totally um, pitch corrected. Oh, Orville. Oh, Orville. So listen to it again. You can hear... The way that his that the the tone coming from his voice switches those first two notes. There's very little actual slide, and it feels like it is like somebody pressing keyboards, which and so it feels very inhuman that tone. Right here. That's pitch corrected. Oh, that makes me sad. <laughs> I wonder if that might actually be his boyfriend in this video. If he even has one, I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. There it is again, only this time it's more pronounced. So listen to it again. That's like almost auto-tuned obvious. Was that on purpose? I don't know. I did, but that's so obvious. Like, how could it not be? I'm digging the suit, though. That's great. That is totally Margaret Cho. That's hilarious. Here's the thing about this, too, is I don't think he's part of the Nashville machine. So whatever producer he has on this really knows his stuff because you've got some great layering. You never, even though the levels change depending on the section of the song, depending on what the instruments are doing, you never lose anything. And 
you have you always have bottom end there the base is very clear throughout the the only thing you potentially kind of lose when everything's going is the notes from the acoustic guitar but i don't think the notes from the acoustic guitar are 100% necessary throughout the entire song so this is very very well produced come on baby cry Bronco, that's the new record. Well, all right. I'm in full screen mode. Let's get out of full screen mode. All right. We might be down from YouTube at this point. Nope, still going. Okay, so. That was Orville Peck. Switching back to this. That was Orville Peck. Come on, baby, cry. Uh, yeah, I definitely understand why people are saying that this is a more rock and roll sound for him than the previous stuff that he's put out, but it's still very much him. Uh, yeah, very interested to listen to the rest of the Bronco record, but that's what we got for this reaction.